Once again, Salam Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Welcome to our project Plants in the Quran. We mentioned that there are so many plants in the Quran, there are medicinal plants, there are food plants. But today we're going to talk about a plant called the banana. In the Quran, it's in Surah to Waqia, that's um, Surah 56, verse 29, and it's called Tol. T H T A L H, Tol. Now, let's look at the banana itself. The banana is called Tol in the Quran. It's called um, Maus in Arabic, and it's also the botanical name is um, Musa Paradisia. <laughs> Musa Paradisia. Very, very ironic. Musa Paradisia. It's from the Acacia genus, and banana itself is something that is mentioned in the Quran. Although there is no specific hadith that talks about the usage encouraging people to use bananas or to not to use bananas. But there are so many advantages of the banana tree. For instance, the banana we are talking about is the Cavendish. You know there is plantain and there are bananas. Now the Cavendish is the common banana you see. It has one characteristic. It has, it it has sucrose, three types of it has the fructose um, and it has the sugars. And it contains a lot of vital fibers for the body, dietary fibers. In fact, the banana by scientific um, parlance has been known to take care of a lot of things. It takes care of a lot of diseases. It contains potassium at like 10%. It contains magnesium 8%. And if you know potassium is the substance that gives you a healthy heart. And also if you look at um, magnesium, magnesium is the substance that gives your brain things like serotonin, that give you a good sleep. It calms your nerves and what have you. So taking a banana a day is actually very, very beneficial. Now when you look into the banana, it's so diverse. In the Yoruba language, we shouldn't forget that it's called Ogede. O-G-O-G-E-D-E. So this is beautiful. The Quran is closer to us that we really want to know. Um, when I was doing some research for on the banana tree, what I found out was that the banana tree itself, uh, its leaves are very, very useful. And I share this with you. I was in, a, in an Arab country um, a while ago, and I was served rice. Yes, rice. Beautiful rice. Rice in banana leaves. It's beautiful. I licked my fingers literally. So th these are uses of the banana. The banana tree is so succulent. And let us remember, the banana itself is from the Acacia genus. And there's a lot of talk. Ibn Koyum actually talked about the banana a lot. And um, it talk the banana is also used for it's an aphrodisiac. It also regulates blood sugar. If you see the diabetes diets, it includes powdered banana. So bananas are a means of healing that have been mentioned in the Quran. And the Alhamdulillah will bring you more reports about what the bananas can do. They definitely, there's so much they can do. And um, i give you this. Take a banana a day from today. And we'll see you on our next broadcast. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Masalah.